You ready to fight? Ready. Good. All right, all eyes on Armand Sarugyan as this round gets underway in earnest. Of course, all rounds begin on the feet where Sarugyan has said he believes he will have a decided advantage here tonight. But don't be surprised to see him grapple. He's very instinctive when it comes to his takedown game. And you know if he gets the fight there, it could be a real problem for his opponent tonight. All right, so there's that power right from Michael Chandler. He talked a lot about mixing it up this week, but... That right hand is his weapon of choice, and he found the button early. It is his weapon of choice, and I think a lot of his success is based on the fact that he's such a high-level wrestler. So when he level changes, people tend to drop their hands, and Chandler drops that big right hand on him. I think this is one of the best athletes in the entire UFC. Oh, nice. When both are prepared, these are the types of fights that we expect. Beautiful combination there. If you are teaching an up-and-coming fighter about throwing volume strikes effectively, you can do worse than watching the film on this I mean, It's a master class, John. It's a master class in mixing up the target, mixing up the strikes, and ending your combinations with the kick. Saruk Yan gets caught by that straight hand. We have crossed the midpoint here in our opening round. All right, so now we start to see some redness underneath the elbow. You got to think he's going to continue to attack the body with all of his strikes. Well, his opponent has not done anything to deter him. He should keep doing this, keep going to the well until his opponent finds an answer, because right now, he seems lost to it. The power of Chandler is a sight for the old man. He's lost his head still attached to his body. The last time I saw an uppercut like that, it was Good news is he rocked him. Bad news is he wasn't able to finish the job, and now his opponent's back in the fight. I mean, you don't get those opportunities very often. You got to take full advantage of them when they're presented to you. Chandler's bleeding from the mouth. Daniel looks as though there's a cut on his lip. Thankfully, he's alive. Well, at this point, DC, I'm not sure if he's just biding his time or just trying to get some extra reps, but go finish this. It seems like the guy's playing with his food. You know, he's having a good time out there. Everything's working. He's in the zone. It feels like at any moment he can end the night of his own. They're coming out of here. Huge shots landing on both sides. So under 30 seconds to go in what has been a pretty entertaining and active first round. For him, that'll keep him in the fight. Knocked down near the end of the round. Saved by the bell, ladies and gentlemen. Listen, I need you to keep your hands up. Catch with a quick All right, so a big knockdown for him, courtesy of that punch in that round. DC, here's a replay. Big moment in the previous round. They were both fighting very well. But when he landed this punch right here that sits his opponent down, it showed that the power is not equal. And if he can land, he does have the ability to damage it. You ready to fight? Ready. All right, second round underway. Do you believe it? This next round is underway. In the previous round, both fighters got rocked. Crowd going bananas. Big opportunity for both fighters. These are the types of fights that makes it so fun to sit right next to the octagon and call the action. Well, he misses with the left punch there. Oh, a huge block there. Chandler tries to throw that left hook. Well, it's been a wild fight thus far. Perhaps a contender for some bonus money at fights in. Oh, that's a perfect body shot there. He's hit. I mean, that's unbelievable. That shot landed perfectly. And now he's got his opponent hurt. Couple big shots for Chandler. Oh, Chandler's hurt. Oh, he's hurt. 
So a nice instinctive reactive takedown there shortly after he caught the leg. He moves his opponent to the canvas. Now let's see if he can get that ground and pound going. Oh, stuffs the takedown without issue. Under three minutes now to go in the round. Nice one, two there. Well, he's really starting to land a high number of strikes here in the second round. No denying that he has taken the message from his corner and picked up the pace here in round two. Well, it looks as though that strike maybe opened up a cut around the eye area. Yeah, it looks like that strike opened up a cut, John, but it's nothing to worry about now, but he's got to start to protect it. Just misses there with the left. So at long last, he finally lands his first takedown after several failed attempts. You knew coming in that he was going to stay committed to the takedown, kept on trying, and finally got him to the ground. Oh, he passes the half guard now, and he's not posturing the left punches, so look for a submission attempt. Well, we told you off the top of the broadcast he could do it all, but he's leaning on the striking tonight and continues to hit his opponent, really, with most of what he's thrown. Well, he can't miss. I mean, it's like the guy's throwing a baseball at the side of a barn. Uh, he, everything he throws, he lands, and he's showing that he can do it, and he can do it in abundance. The pace that this young man is fighting at is truly something special. Under a minute now to go round two. That was nice. Well, he grounded him, and now he's trying to pound him out. Great ground strikes here. Right inside his opponent's guard here, DC. You don't want to play around here too long. No, you got to either have two hands in or two hands out, or guys start to attack triangles. And he's back up. So there's the end of the round, and we're going to show you the replay now, DC. The big moment, of course, that huge shot to the liver. I mean, a big shot to the liver. He was looking for it all night long, and eventually he found it. And it showed why most of his effort has been spent on trying to find that shot. Ready to fight? Ready. Go all right, here we go with this third round of this championship fight. Ball oh, left hook to the head, it's blocked. Starting to do some really significant damage to the body here. Another strike lands there. Can't take many of those, better check. Sawuk gets the double leg takedown. Nothing telegraphed about that shot. Well done. Submission attempt here. He's fighting. He wants his bad luck. It's, it's tight. Oh, hang on a second. He got out. Wow, wow. Wow was all I could say because this guy looked like he was done, but he stayed true to himself and he avoided that beautiful anaconda choke. Oh, roundhouse kick. Style points on that one. Unable to land with that punch. Oh, nice slip there. Great head movement overall by this guy defensively tonight. He does a big double leg level change. Michael Chandler gets back up again. Well, most fighters can't keep up this type of aggression and pace, but you don't have to worry about this guy. He hasn't really showed any signs of slowing down tonight. As though he will let his opponent stand back up. Yes. Tarragon's attempted to pass here, but he's denied by the defense. Mm, nice. Chandler gets up. He is back on the feet here. And a miss with the right hook. Another big take down. Side control up his body strength figures to be put to good use. Here. Yes, absolutely. And you got to look for his opponent to turn back into him. He should chase guillotine, but the opponent turns to the opposite side. He can
can take his back, throw his hooks in, try to choke, or flatten him out. Just go for the finish. And there you go. Again, half guard. Oh, right into Mount. Oh, huge ground strike there. I can see the cut man's actually getting excited. Oh, he got to the spot. Absolutely loving it as the fighters, however compromised, make their way back to the feet. They may be tired, but that tired, that fatigue is warranted. That was a high-level grappling exchange between two phenomenal grapplers. All right, that's three rounds in the books. We are headed to the championship rounds. All right, take a seat. Deep breath. Slow that heart rate down. Awesome. Your striking is looking superb. Everything you're putting out there is landing. All right, so there's the end of the round. The storyline over those previous five minutes, volume takedowns, offensive wrestling. Yeah, this is an exhausting type of fight, not only for the offensive fighter, but also for the opponent. Always being under attack, always being defensive, always reacting starts to really wear at your gas tank. It's interesting to see who is more fresh going into the next round. You ready to fight? You ready? We have arrived at the fourth round fight schedule for five five-minute wrestlers. All right, so here we go. Fourth round is underway. What is the fighter's mentality when you enter those seminal championship rounds? You understand that you are getting close now. The night is almost over. The goal is within reach now. Fifteen minutes down, ten to go. You tell yourself you can do anything for ten minutes. Pretty good head movement. He's avoiding a lot of these ground strikes. level guard pass there as he moves into half court. You know the guy's going to his left on the pass, but you cannot stop it. He is tremendous at passing the guard. Oh, great transition there as he reverses to top position. Beautiful work on the ground there by Sarukyan. There it is. Now he's going to mount. He's got that arm triangle. Watch him pass to the opposite side. It looks real tight. He'll drop his weight to try to finish his technique. Athletic. Somehow he got out though. Great job clearing the hips, facing, and getting out of that Ezekiel choke attempt. All right, so some high level stuff there on the ground, but as they make their way back to the feet, a huge response from the crowd, no surprise there. I loved it. I loved all the grappling that was on display there, but fight fans want to see striking, and that's exactly what they're going to get as he finally makes his way back to his feet. Shot to the body here, blocked by Chandler. as he pounds him out for the TKO win. Relentless strikes landed across the board and a huge, huge win in his career. John, that was so impressive. What an amazing display of finishing ability by the show fighter. All right, let's go inside the octagon where Bruce Buffer has the official decision. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Herb Dean has called a stop to this contest at two minutes. 50 seconds of round number four. Declaring the winner by TKO and new UFC lightweight champion of the world.